And we're back here at Rails to Trails in Hazleton and we're getting you fit for the summertime. We're back with Rob Gold and Frank Romero is our special guest for the last couple of weeks. So Frank, thanks for joining us. Rob, what are the next events coming up? The next multi-sport race is the Wally Man Triathlon okay. at Lake Wampalpac. It's on the 27th, Saturday. It's got a shorter distance, it's got a longer distance. So if you're more of a beginner, it's a good race that you could try. It's also got the relay option. You could have a two person or a three person team. It's also got just a swim bike option. So if you don't want to run, you could just do the swim bike. All right, and this is good because although it's out of town, it's the only one. So it's, it is really local and part of your group, right? Right, there aren't too many triathlons or duathlons. So this is a local race. Okay, if you're following along, along every Wednesday here on FYI, Frank started about three years ago with his fitness and healthy lifestyle. Uh, he lost a ton of weight, he got his family involved, and now he's actually running a, the first ever Hazelton half and I can't wait I'm gonna obligate myself to this I have to hold myself accountable through TV yes. and Facebook and tell you that I'm gonna be running it it's um, gonna be my first half that I'm running here ooh. locally in my hometown like so hope no one's watching when I'm huffing and puffing my way <laughs> through this race but this is really a great thing that you started Oh, thank you. It's, it was a group effort, right, mm -hmm. um, to, to bring it in. But uh, I'm really excited about giving the opportunity for the community to get out there and run, be more active, and, and live a healthier lifestyle. All right. Well, let's sell it. How do people get involved? Why should they partake? They should do it for themselves, yes. right? And they should also do it for the community. It's yeah. going to go back to, to Hazleton area. So it'll go out to uh, downtown Hazleton and then back into the trail. So um how do they participate? Just go on the website, uh, onto the Hazy events, and you'll be able to find us there. Okay. It's not only going to be the run for the half, there's going to be other runs involved in That's this. Right. So you can really participate and get the, the family involved. That's correct. There is a fun run. There's a youth run. Uh, there's a one-mile distance. There's a small sprint. Um, there's a 5K uh, and a 5K walk with a 10K run. So it, there's a lot of uh, opportunity for... Uh, runners of all different levels. I know and even if you run every day or you work out every day there's nothing like participating in a race and having that momentum of being around people who are like-minded and getting out there and being in shape and and just it's such a great feeling. I'm on a high the week after like the whole week after a race it's just there's nothing like it and I'd love for more people to experience that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and he's the biggest racer right here. So anything in closing? Competition. It brings out the best in you and it, and it promotes you. It encourages you to train all week long because you know you're going to be held accountable on the weekend. Yes, you are. And again, if you're going to sign up for this Hazelton half and you're a newbie, uh, this is the time to start training. So look up those, you know, halves and, uh, you know, look up a plan and, and start sticking to it now because it does take about good 12, 14, 16 weeks. Frank, Rob, thanks for joining us here on FYI. Join us here every Wednesday for some motivation to live a healthier lifestyle.